Welcome to Two School Sports here. The coming to Sunny Edwards uh, fight in Dubai against Wassam. I missed the fight. Um, I couldn't get the screen. I finally got it. I had a call BT in the middle of him going through Los Angeles. Um, right now, the fight that we actually have right now is going to be uh, 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 Reach's Progress is coming in right now, fighting uh, the Irishman um, Tyrone McKenna. So uh, here we are. We're live right now, and, and uh, welcome for all you guys that are here. Uh, it's a pretty easy uh, fight. McKenna is uh, 25 fights, 22-1, with uh, six KOs. Uh, Progress is 27 fights. 26 1 with 22 KOs and one loss to you know uh, Josh Taylor. I'm um, hit that like button. All you all you're here. I'm going to be here for pro programming minor for the next fight uh, uh, tonight with the uh, uh, top ranked fight. I'm going to watch the Belonga fight. But it's going to cover the uh, split club. So here we go. Right now we got reached the, the Reach of Progress fight with uh, McKenna. We're here watching. Uh, I missed the. Uh, like I said, I missed the first fight. Thank you all for being here. You got McKenna in the green shorts. You got Progress in the gold gloves, black, gold gloves. Ten rounds of boxing. It's a WBC uh, uh, eliminator, so they can get into the uh, get to the title contention. You're gonna have to go to Vipro, uh, Linda Chris. Go, uh, go to. I'm sorry. Go to uh, Vipro, Luda Chris. Go to Vip, 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 Vipro Sports and uh, hit one of uh, one or two or three. Of those. There's three links here. You gotta just keep hitting one of them until they come alive. What's going on, Greg Watts? How you doing, man? I missed the uh, uh, Edwards fight, but I'm here for the Progress fight. Oh my gosh, yeah, so uh, they are introduced the fighters now. Hold on, I gotta get this situated. Yeah, so uh, you got, you got, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Eric, Enrique Lua, you're right, it's uh, ESPN card tonight, uh, I think it starts at 715, if I'm correct. Uh, they just they just uh, announcing uh, Kenna, the Irishman, fighting. Uh, uh, you know, we, one of my favorite fighters, believe it or not, is uh, Progress. I can't even hear that. Uh, you guys can hear, it, but yeah. So Progress got a uh, red, a uh, gold trunks on with black striping. I don't know if you guys can hear it. I'm trying to get the sound on this a lot louder. That's all I can get as loud as I can. I got to hook it up to the TV. Progress, yeah. So I'm, I'm glad at least I made this fight. No, this fight is on, uh, it's on FUBU TV. Uh, remember that Pro Bell sign with FUBU TV? So if you have FUBU, FUBU TV, you can get it. I don't have FUBU TV. I'd go to Ripro Sports and go ahead and try to download uh, the link. So here we go, Kenna and uh, and the green trunks. Progress and the black gold trunks. And here we go, first round. McKenna and the green and, uh, and white trunks. He's coming out in the middle of the ring, fainting on a high guy. Throws a couple of combinations uh, to, to the body of, I mean, to the face of Progress. Nothing doing. Progress is just methodically taking his time. Slowly uh, walk, uh, going around the ring, throwing uh, a left jab, I mean, right jab. McKenna's trying to faint in front of him, but he's not actually he's not even close enough. To, uh, all his shots that he's throwing, his right jab that he's throwing, are not doing nothing. Uh, left jab that he's doing is not doing nothing to Progress. Progress methodically letting him uh, circle him around the ring. And finally, Progress goes to the body. McKenna's trying to uh, hit him to the body. 
uppercuts with nothing doing. Again, McKinnis, like, it's not sort of wild, but he's just coming, attacking him. It seems to me that McKinnon doesn't have a lot of power in his punches, to tell you the truth. So, again, uh, McKinnon in the high guard. Porgis just taking his time. Taking his time. McKinnon, the taller fighter, on a high guard. Porgis is just walking. The both men, what I like, they both in the middle of the ring. Can, uh, progress in, 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 in the soft force uh, in the right in the orthodox stance now. McKinnon is, is, is trying to hit him, going to the body and stuff, but um, he has no power at all. You can just see that. And, and uh, Progress is trying to with a, a, a left and a right, throwing a lot of right uh, <clears throat> jabs. Uh, progress is, but uh, nothing doing because McKinney's staying in the high guard. I get progress in the middle of the ring, taking his time, aiming how to make the shots. Missed over right hand by uh, over left hand by uh, McKinnon. Progress just taking his time, not really being intimidated by uh, McKinnon. McKinnon to me is not strong enough to take out progress beyond you, what I see so far. Progress is just throwing the left jabs, the right jab and the left again by progress. They can, they're both in the middle of the ring going round and round each other. Probably just threw a, a right. Probably just threw a left jab. Another miss, miss left, uh, <clears throat> left by uh, Progress, but then he caught him with a right. He caught uh, McKean uh, with, with a right. Now Progress to the body. Now he's going to the face, but nothing doing because uh, McKean is on a high guard. McKean throws a soft jab back, but nothing doing. Yeah, McKinney, you can tell uh, McKinney's a tall fighter, but I, I, I see the stronger fighter being the shorter fighter, Progress, to be honest with you. Progress got him in a little ring, not even sweating. You can tell you're not sweating, nothing. Just taking it easy. Missed a couple of uh, right jabs by Progress. Throws an over left jab, then a right. Uh, uh, catches uh, McKinney. McKinney's laughing at him, but uh, guys, I think it's going to be a long night for McKinney. Uh, I don't see no power in McKinney that's going to do anything to Progress. So, uh, Progress, both fighters, what I like about both of them, they're both in the middle uh, in the middle of the ring, and they're both, you know, chasing each other, swinging back, throwing jabs and everything, but they're staying in the middle of the ring. But uh, Progress is not sweating at all. He's just taking his time, like, hey, I got this, you know. Saludos, saludos to all you guys that are here, Enrique Luna, uh, JJ uh, Romano, uh, of course, Jesus, saludos. And, uh, yeah, just go to the, the link. The link is uh, Bip Bro. Uh, the Rip Pro uh, Sports, the boxing, you get it. Beautiful. You just got to keep hitting the links. You're going to get all kinds of stuff. You got to keep hitting the links. Boom. Fucking progress kind of with an over left and then with an over right on uh, on Keenan. Both of them. Keenan said it didn't hurt, but those were the best two shots of the second round. And Keenan's sitting there dancing. He better take it seriously because progress, progress is a beast. Both fives in the middle of the ring again. McKinney and the high guy. Oh! Knocked him down. Progress knocked him out with a left. Boom! What the fuck's he talking about? He's in the showboat like, like he's laughing like they didn't do nothing to him. Progress ain't even looking at him. Knocked him right out. Boom! Knocked him out, but he got back up again on uh, uh, 10 count. So here we go again. Progress in the all right, all the left. Progress trying to load up. He's got McKinney by the ropes. McKinney just holding on. The referee breaks him back up. Again, oh, Progress pro pro in the left. A right uppercut. Progress got him by the road. McKinney tries to fight back. McKinney tells him, come on. Progress throwing an uppercut. Turns McKinney around. McKinney in the middle of the ring. Big mistake that McKinney is making is trying to fight with Progress. You don't fight with a, a man that's stronger than you and that's pushing you. He's pumping you around the whole ring. Again, Progress going to that body. McKinney's uh, holding him down. They're holding tactics. Like I said, uh, Progress is taking his time, walking him down, jabbing. I think uh, Kenny's like mystified, man. He, don't, he, can't, he can't see this. Kenny has no power in his punches. Progress got him by the ropes, going to that body, hurt him. And right away, McKinney is holding on. He already got knocked down once. I don't know why he's laughing. When a fighter laughs, you know he's hurting you. Again, Progress throws uh, a right to the body, a left and a right. Got McKinney again by the ropes, hurting him badly. And McKinney just sitting there laughing. McKinney has no power. 
Broker shakes him off down by the road, throws up a left uppercut. Not a left uppercut by uh, progress. Going to that body, breaking McKinnon down. I don't think this fight's gonna last long, guys. It's not gonna last long at all. Wow. Nice uh, over left by progress. Again, McKinney grabs him and holds on to him. Unreal. Again, progress goes back up. Throwing right, 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 right jabs. McKinney in the high guard by the ropes. Turns, gets himself off the ropes. Progress is walking him down, patiently walking him down. Left jab to the body by Progress. Another left jab by uh, Progress. A right by uh, uh, McKinney, not doing nothing to Progress. McKinney throws a couple of punches, but he's not hurting Progress at all. Progress gets the jab, and Progress is playing with him. Progress is playing with him. Progress knows he got this fight. McKinney better wake up. Yeah, he, he stay tight in a high guard. McKinney, or he's going to be hurt. Another right over right here missed by uh, Progress. Progress comes back with a left jab. McKinney in the high guard. Again, Progress goes to the uh, right jab. I don't know why. Uh, the whole fight, uh, McKinney's been mocking him. Uh, progress, but Progress has literally like been uh, knocked him down, hitting him to the body, throwing uppercuts. And McKinnon's just sitting there like, uh, you know, it's nothing. It's crazy. Beautiful left. So it was a chopping left hand, right? Right about bah! That knocked out Cop McKinnon. And he's just laughing. A fight is laughing when he's hurt. So you already know, Progress is dominating this fight. Like I said, I'm sorry for coming in late. Uh, I couldn't get any other streams. And, and finally, I got it. And I've been trying and trying. And, and at least I came to this fight to see the progress. I don't know what happened with Wasan and, uh, with Wasan and uh, Edwards. But this fight right here is a, going into the third round. And it's a total dominance by uh, Regis Progress. And he's not even sweating it. So here we go to the third round. McKinney in the high guard again. A taller fighter. He's not using his range. Missed a right jab by uh, a left jab by McKinnon. Two, uh, two soft jabs by uh, Progress doesn't do nothing. Not a soft jab by Progress to the body, nothing doing. I think uh, McKinnon started to respect uh, Progress after the knockdown. He's not running in anymore like he was before. He throws a, a right jab, a, a left jab, and a right by McKinnon again. Progress is backing up to the ropes. Uppercut, left uppercut by Progress. Right uppercut by Progress. Progress got him, hit him to the body. McKinney steps out the ropes and, and quickly throws a left jab. Nothing doing. Both fighters back in the middle of the ring. Progress is fading back and forth, fading back and forth. Like, you know, hey, I got this fight. Here we go again. Progress is just it's being a hunter right now. McKinney has no answer for him. I kind of figured that out when he first went in the, uh, when he for the first round started, and McKinney had no power in his punches. Right now, he's pushing him back to the ropes. The kid is dancing around, trying to figure out what he can do next. He threw a right, a left and a right, nothing doing. And again, Progress is hunting him back down again, chasing him down. Again, McKinnon misses with the, with, with the left jabs. While uh, Progress is throwing his uh, <clears throat> right jabs. Progress faking him, trying to get him by the ropes again. Again, Progress got him again by the ropes. Another jab. Progress is totally dominating this fight, guys. This fight was, uh, again, nice uh, over left by uh, Progress. Caught him again. The same over left that he threw to get him knocked down. Now he got ten by the ropes, going to the body, going up again to the body, trying to finish him off. Quickly, uh, McKinnon holds on for dear life. Progress is playing with McKenna. He's just playing with him like a sparring session. McKenna has no answer for him. None at all. None at all. Progress is taking his time, weaving back left and right, uh, right jabbing. Again, just weaving back and forth, right jabbing to McKenna. McKenna has no answer. Push McKenna to the ropes again. McKenna tries a right jab to the body that misses Progress. Progress comes with a two quick rights jab to the body uh, of McKenna. McKinney, two quick left jabs by McKinney real quick. 
Not a right jab by McKinnon, nothing doing. McKinnon in the high guard as uh, Progress pushes forward. Progress told this is a sparring session. Progress is playing with him. Missed over left by uh, Progress again. I, uh, Progress is definitely dominating this round, dominating the tall uh, uh, Irish fighter. Uh, McKinney came in there, started mocking him from the beginning of the fight, and it, it, and it hasn't worked out to his favor. Uh, Progress, uh, uh, Progress already uh, gave him uh, through an over, uh, over left and knocked him down, and still doing the same thing. This is on Vipro, on Vipro, uh, uh, Vipro Sports, the, the, the link. When you go there, uh, once you get that link, you gotta hit those links two or three times and keep doing it until you, you, you give it, you give it of the, uh, the, uh, the announcement for betting. Just keep doing it; it'll come up. But if you have, if you have Fubu TV, uh, because you know Pro 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 sign up with them, you can watch it on Fubu uh, TV. I missed the first fight, YNSS, but yeah, it's Vip. I, I don't know how to put the link on there. I'm sorry to tell you, it's Vip Pro. Uh, the same one we had last time, Vip Pro me. Uh, and go there, hit boxing. You have three links, hit one of those links. You're going to get advertising. Get out of it again. Hit it again until you get the screen. I missed the whole the whole card because I was trying to do it and I couldn't get it. I had to call Brendan in Los Angeles. He's going to the, uh, you know, the Cobb uh, Rocha fight. So check it out, one it says. It's a Vip Romy uh, boxing. Go check it out. It's the same link that we had last night we that uh, Harold was trying to give me. I'll tell you, please hit the like button. I'm so sorry that I didn't get here earlier. I really, I missed the whole uh, Edwards fight. I really wanted to see that, but um, I couldn't get no links or nothing. I had to call Brandon in Los Angeles to help me out. So here goes uh, McKinnis. McKinnis got no power. Uh, we're in the fourth round, and McKinnis egging on uh, Progress to, egg, uh, to come on, and that's the wrong thing you could do with a uh, Progress. Progress is just tapping him. Uh, progress is just playing with him. I'm gonna tell you that right now. He's playing with McKinnon. McKinney has not done nothing. To me, McKinney has no power. He's trying to push the action. He's trying to push uh, poor, uh, Progress back, but Progress is fighting, throwing him jab as he's coming backwards. McKinney's trying to throw, uh, miss two right uh, punches by McKinney. Again, Progress catches him with a left uppercut and, and soft jabs, uppercut, soft jab, and going to the body. Progress getting the best of McKinney, believe it or not. Both fighters are in the middle of the ring again. They're trying to exchange with each other, but uh, Progress getting the best of him. Another right up, uh, uh, left uppercut by Progress. Another left uppercut by Progress. McKinney's trying to fight back. I mean, he's not hurt from them at this point. Again, Progress just gave him a soft uppercut again to the body. Now he's just right jabbing him, right jabbing him. I swear to God, it looks like a sparring session, to tell you the truth. But uh, again, McKinney has no answer for Progress. Progress got this. I, I got Progress again, a right jab by Progress to the body of McKinney. McKinney's trying to stand in the middle of the ring and fight with Progress. Progress is getting combinations off. McKinney is standing on his high high guard and throws every once in a while he'll throw a, a left jab. While uh, Progress is throwing a couple a uh, couple combinations. What's going on, Caesar? Now nah, I missed the whole card, man. I, I, the only card that I got right now is I got right here is uh, Regis Pro, Pro, uh, Progress against uh, 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 was it McKenna? For the I, the W uh, W uh, W B A or W whatever it's, uh, title eliminator, whoever gets gets a chance to get a title. McKinnis has got no power at all. I'm sorry to tell you. I mean, Progress is out class him in every way possible. And again, here Progress is throwing punches, competing in front of him, throwing combinations. McKinnis not doing nothing, just standing in the high guard like this. He's actually a taller fighter. But uh, well, the biggest mistake that I think McKinnon did from the beginning was start mocking, uh, you know, mocking and smiling at uh, uh, Porg when he threw his jabs and stuff. And then uh, Porg's caught him in the, uh, in the, in the second round with a, uh, a left over right hand that, that knocked, knocked um, McKinnon down. But the Irishman got back up. But he's still talking shit. And I don't know why. Cause he, uh, he's getting his ass kicked by Progress. Yeah, man. I'm not. Actually, uh, that's gonna be a good. Uh, that's gonna be a good fight. He's gonna win that fight tonight. But my son was telling me that McKins is gonna have a tough. The guy, the third fighter that they got now, I forgot his name. He, he he's a very uh a tough opponent. He picks McKins McKins to win the fight, but he says that uh the guy that he's fighting on the third opponent is pretty good. He actually seen him live, and he says he's not a sleeper. He's pretty good. So uh 
Shout out. I'm sorry that McKinsey came to America and had to go through all this craziness in boxing. Uh, and ultimately, ultimately, he ended up with a softball anyways. He didn't want to fight uh, a Cobb, play the player Cobb when he offered the fight because he trained for uh, an orthodox fighter. But he, in the end, he ended up with another uh, southpaw tonight in the third the third opponent that he got. And he's pretty, it's a pretty good one. But uh, McKinsey wants to fight tonight. And BTD will be putting a lot of coverage on, on the channel. He's going to be throwing a lot of... Uh, Put a lot of a lot of coverage on that, and I'll, I'm going to be on the Balanga top ranked Puerto Rican card. Um, so here we go. We're in the fifth round of ten for a title eliminator between Rages Progress and Tyron McKenna. Uh, McKenna, uh, uh, from what I was reading, was pretty good and everything, but one thing that he lacks, he lacks power. He lacks a lot of power, and he's not even hurting Progress at all. I, I, I feel that I almost feel that Progress is making this ent entertaining fight. And he's actually just sparring with him just to make it entertain for the fans. I think you can put him out anytime, to be honest. Right now, he's just throwing jabs, right jabs to the body of McKenna. McKenna comes back and his combinations, but progress is not hurting progress, and progress maintains himself on the high guard. Right now, progress in the middle of the ring, just throwing jabs to the body. Both fight, McKenna's trying to, it's trying to exchange with progress, but progress, progress, but that's not happening. Progress is getting go to the body. McKenna's trying to, uh, Duck down to the height, uh, which I think is a big mistake. You duck your taller fighting and you're ducking yourself down to a shorter, stronger fight like progress. You're just leading yourself up for uppercut. He needs to keep his head movement, McKenna. Use his height, use his distance, and, and, and start jabbing again. And he's not doing that. He's trying to make a fight this with progress when progress been batting him left and right in, in this fight. I'll be honest with you. He's trying to fight, but his punches are not doing nothing for progress. He doesn't have enough strength to intimidate or push progress back. That's the problem that McKenna has. Has no power at all. Jeez. You know? How can you sit here? You got all the power. You get tall. Now, I mean, now, he, now he's jabbing. Now he threw a couple of uh, right jabs to the body of progress, but not hurting progress. Progress comes back again. And it's like he's being on a punching bag. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mean, progress is breaking him down. Not McKenna's trying to make it a fight. But you, you can't fight with somebody you're not hurting. And you're not hurting progress. Progress is dictating the fight to you from the get-go. He already gave you a knockdown. He's throwing you a lot of left uppercuts. Right now he's just jabbing you, throwing your left jab, right jab, walking away from you. And and, and kudos to McKenna. He's trying to make it a fight. He's trying to push the fight, trying to get progress and by the ropes. But you know, there's levels to boxing, and you can see the difference between McKenna and, and progress along a mile away. What's up, Sessa? Look at that. McKenna is throwing. I'm like, don't get it twisted. He's trying to throw, make it a fight. Right now, he's going to the body, throwing combination progress, but progress is making him look bad and making him miss. And progress is just jabbing him. Progress is make, honestly, progress is just here to make entertainment for the fans. I'll tell you right now. If progress wanted to knock this, put him out, he would have put him out a long time ago. I'm not saying the Irish men are not tough. They're tough fighters. But in this fight right now, what I see from McKenna, he doesn't have the power to get uh, progress and respect, that's one. Two, um, as a tall fighter, one of the biggest things that I see, you've got to use your height, use your reach, use your distance to make it harder for uh, progress to come in. He's doing the quite the opposite. He's literally getting in the hard guard, ducking down to progress height and walking into progress, and progress is going to love that. And he hit you all the time with the left uppercuts and hit you to the body with the right upper, uh, upper, uh, the jabs and hurt you to, the, to no end. So respect your Irish man. He's trying to make this a fight. He's trying to make this interesting, but the reality is uh, uh, progress is just is toying with him. That's the reality, guys. Um, uh, programming minor, I will be here tonight for the top rank fight for sure for the whole thing. I missed uh, this card right here because I couldn't get no links or anything, but I'm definitely not going to miss the uh, the top rank for me, I'm Puerto Rican, so I'm watching all my Puerto Rican uh, fighters out there. And um, um, Brendan's gonna cover the, the Cobb Rocha fight, and he's gonna put content on the channel. I'm gonna go live for the Belanga. So here we go, the sixth round of ten for title eliminator. All oh, this whole, this whole uh, sixth round, a fifth, so far the five, five rounds, uh, progress has been cruising all the way through. McKenna's got no answer. McKenna's got no power that can gain the respect of progress to tell the truth. Poor progress already knocked him out with a uh, over right, over, over left, and and right now, I mean, don't get me wrong, the Irishman is trying to come forward and make it a fight and push, trying to push up uh, uh, progress backwards and and keep yourself in the high guard. 
but there's nothing doing. There's levels to boxing. You could tell the difference between him and Pro Pro is not even trying, to be honest with you. He's just sitting there jabbing him, jabbing around the gym. And when he when he feels like it, like now nah, he gets to an old right hand that missed. Uh, and again, McKenna is in the high guard. Throwing uh, one jab at a time, another try to throw combination. They're not hurting progress. Progress been pushing them back the whole time. I mean, McGinnis trying to jab to the body and hurt progress, but I don't, it's not hurting him. Progress coming forward again. Again, uppercut by uh, progress. Another out, right uppercut by Forrest. Look at that. McKenna's tired. McKenna's bleeding badly. Jesus. Forrest is piecing him up. I'm telling you, this is like a, a sparring match. Forrest again jabbing to the body. He could he could he, he was so close he could have gone another left to the uh the bleeding mechanic, but he's not doing that. You don't want to hurt him like that. Wow. That left those left hands by progress has been a thing. Come on, man. <laughs> Nobody wanna ask that. You crazy. Nobody wanna see that. Oh my god. <laughs> you sick. Um I'm gonna put this down for uh, I, I guess this is what you're saying about the uh the fight has been stopped as we speak. One that says put this up, but the fight has been stopped as we speak right now. Uh, the fight's been stopped after after six rounds. Uh Regis Progress gets a TKO technical knockdown. Um Man, he got his butt whooped by progress. No lie, man. Got his ass whooped left and right. Unreal. So here goes progress again. Uh, I'm glad he won. Gonna gonna go get a shot of the title. This was a title eliminator. I mean, but uh McKenna couldn't handle him, I'm telling you. He was toying with him the whole the whole fight. Literally just toying with him. Boxing him, upper jabbing him, uh jab, uppercut. Left uppercuts going, or uh, a uh, uh, left o over. <clears throat> he got him. I mean, he got him with a left uh, over, over, left over hand that knocked out uh, a McKinney in the second round. McKinney came in there being confident, being cocky, and mocking him. And, and that was the wrong thing you could do to Progress. Progress walked him down all over that ring. And don't get me wrong, the Irishman tried to fight. He tried to make a fight of it, but his power was not gaining the respect of uh, Progress. All right, one says, I'm just telling you what the deal is. Yeah, you gotta go. Uh, one says, you gotta keep hitting them fast. Get up the ads, like clicking out of it, and then you gotta go hit, hit that button real quick to uh, link to get into the fight. So you're right about what you're saying. I'm not arguing with you. Um, I'm not computer savvy. Uh, that's what I had to do. Just get to this fight and just barely come on the channel and talk to you guys a little bit about it. Says, I'm gonna stop. Yeah. Uh, so my son's gonna be. Uh, he's actually on his way now. Uh, to uh, LA uh, to go ahead and cover the uh, Rocha uh, play the Bear Cobbs um, uh, fight, and he's gonna put a lot of content out there, cover that uh, whole thing tonight uh, uh, with the Golden Boy, and I'm gonna be here doing the uh, top rank uh, Puerto Rican mouse say Puerto Rican parade, <laughs> you know, boxing because three Puerto Ricans on, on, on a fight card, and good luck for everybody else. Anyway, let's find out. Yeah. There you go, guys. BT just put this out here. BT just told me to get, get up to you guys right there. You know? Progress one with a TKO. I want you all to know that. So uh, Regis Porras got a uh, got a TKO and his six. Yeah, so uh, Progress gets a TKO over McKenna at a title eliminator, and I can go get a uh, uh, in the shop of the title on WBC. So yeah, we're gonna talk to Progress right now. 
say the word of the night for you was calm. It's been said that the calmest fighter is the winning fighter. But how important was it, even after you got the knockdown? Oh, well, they got, they got to, um... Oh, I mean, I knew he was tough, man. Like, I knew he was going to come in tough. The Irish people, thank y'all, Irish, Irish, all the Irish people here, man. Y'all show the what? I know I'm not Irish, but Tyrone is, and y'all can't... <laughs> Yeah, the talk of Regis Torres right now. But I know he's going to get up, and when he got up, it, it felt like, you know, he wasn't hurt at all. So I just stayed calm and, you know. Yeah, uh, Torres is basically saying that uh, it's a tough Irishman. You got to, uh, your boy Brandon is actually doing the uh, interviewing. Uh, seconds out, so what's his name? Yeah, they're talking to him right now. Progress said, uh, you know, after he knocked him down the first time, he was surprised that the Irishman got back up, but he gained respect. So it's good to know that. So now uh, Regis Porgus got a, a title shot coming up on WBC. He wants to get that championship belt again. So, hey, I always like Regis, man, until my boy Taylor beat the shit out of him, like my, 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 my son was saying. So, I mean, he showed me a lot. They're going to train, man. What's going on, Bella? <laughs> he called out Jack Catterall. This about go broke it to have like Jack Catterall. Well, now uh, Haim is ha Radio Raheem is talking actually to uh, McKenna now. Uh, what happened to him? He said. McKenna says that uh, Regan Crow is one of the hardest men in the ring, but he, 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 he hits hard. He, his punches are uh, heavy hearted. Yeah, I like, I'm just laughing. They're actually asking him, you know, that he was giving that credit to. Uh, yeah, he was gonna give credit to uh to progress to uh he said that he was heavy hand handed and probably the hardest fighter that he fought as far as feeling his punches. So and progress said he wanna fight Catterall. Woo! That'll be a firefight right there. Catterall rematch with Taylor. Yeah, all the Irish fans here in Dubai are actually uh, cheering for him and everything. Hey Harold, you when you eat when you text me, say send me a message on my uh Instagram, too short 1968 for any kind of uh, lives or any kind of links, okay? So I can get your message, all right? I'm gonna have to give you my phone number so we can talk, okay? Uh, yeah, there is a David uh, and the teaching card. It's a long, dragged out part. I, I can go check it out. Oh, Sonny Edwards fighting next. Woo! Sonny Edwards is fighting next against Mohammed Wasim. So I didn't miss that. So we got the code. We got the code, man. Oh, we got 99 Super Chat. You know when that comes out? You know who comes out? You know who comes out? Hold on. Thank you so much. That's a good time. Hey, everybody, roll. let's have some fun. You don't live but once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. It don't matter whether you're young or old. Let the good times roll. Who comes after that? He's a pumping grind. Big booty. And it's only a matter of time because they call me the big, bad, booty daddy. Oh, up here, huh? Oh, no. I wasn't on. Motherfucker wasn't on. I knew it. Alright, hold on, guys. Turn this thing back on. Hey.
yeah so uh, thank you for the super chat oh my lord this thing, this thing came up with the wrong time thank you for the super chat uh see so i really appreciate it uh and god bless you it's only gonna help the channel better oh, let me see this thing oh my lord the damn i the thing shuts off me at the wrong time boy i got the worst luck in the world but hold on guys the next fight's coming on i was getting excited my thing come, this computer shuts off uh, okay, it's coming back on now. So I'm gonna have to go back on this channel, this site, get this back myself. So hey, this is what we do. Yeah, the day we end the fight, I'll, I'll go after that after this fight right here. I'll go right after this fight. Oh no, come on, man! The main event's coming on, puñeta. Shit, man! Hold on, guys. I'm waiting for the uh, Sonny Edwards uh, fight to come on, but my damn computer just died right the last minute. It's coming back on now. I'm going to get back on it, get on it, and get this fight. Sonny Edwards is fighting uh, Wasim Wasim for the IBF title. I mean, uh, we know Sonny Edwards is the champion. Um, you, we know how we know Sonny Edwards going to, he's not, he doesn't have power when he's punching, but what he does have, he has quickness, he has speed, he can change uh, orthodox, he can fight southpaw. Uh, he, he he moves in angles. He, he shoots. His, uh, he moves in angles. He moves around. He's very quick, and, and that's going to cause problems. For Wasim, Wasim, I was watching his fight last night. Wasim was an ex-champion. Um, he comes. He's a straight pressure fighter. Um, he likes to get you on the ropes, and he likes to go to that body a lot. So, uh, Sonny Edwards better not sleep on him. But I think uh, uh, Sonny Edwards will get it. Let's see what's going on here. What's going on, Linda? How you doing? We got another super sticker. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Um, right now, my computer just shut up. I got to get back on it. I got to get here and get this uh, live back on here. I have to, the, the main fight's coming up now, so I got to put that on there, and I will definitely give you uh, uh, give you a, su uh, su uh, a super chat to you, uh, Linda. Let me get you. Let me get this right here for you while I'm waiting. Okay. Hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You don't live but once, and when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. It don't matter whether you're young or old. Let the good times roll. Yeah, let the good times roll. Then you got, uh, you got, uh, the big boy. It's only a matter of time because he called me the big, bad booty daddy. Here we go. Go here. We go here. Let me get the. Yeah, thank you so much, Linda. I really appreciate it. It only goes to the channel, it goes for the travels and the content that brings up. I'm gonna be a uh, program reminder. I'm gonna be here for the uh, top rank card with all uh, the Puerto Ricans fighting. Uh, I think it's uh, Canadian fighting on the card also, but it's more majority three of three of the uh, how many fights are there? Is uh, majority uh, up and coming Puerto Ricans that are very talented, and I'm gonna be uh, carrying that live while Ben is gonna be covering the. Alex Rocha and uh, which Alex Rocha and uh, play the flare card on on, on Golden Boy Harold. I will try to go to that card as soon as this fight's over. I'm trying to get uh, thank you, Linda, again. God bless. Uh, as soon as this fight is over for the uh, with uh, the IBF champion, you know who he is. So let me just get this going right here because things just shut off me at the wrong damn time. Chester, what's up? Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Say, what did you tell me? Possibly you can't get to IG if you want to stay alive for David. I'll drop the link here. Let me know. Yeah, drop the link down because I'll put it on. But let me, I'm going to see if I can get back to this fight right now. Hold on. Let me get back to this fight because uh, my damn computer shut off. So I'll try to get back in this fight because uh, this is the fight I wanted to see. I thought I missed it, but I didn't miss it. Uh, we just got done watching. Uh, Progress put on a master class. The fight was stopped in the sixth round TKO uh, in, a, in a title eliminator. WBC, uh, Major Progress uh, got won, won the belt on McKenna, won the title eliminator. Uh, he really beat the shit out of McKenna. Used him as a, a punching bag, used him as a sparring partner. So, yeah. That's right. That's right. The big bad booty daddy. You got that right, BT. Come on, thing. Try missing. Yeah, Sunny Edwards should be fighting next. 
Okay, what's his name? Just waiting for the, uh, for the computer to load up again at the wrong time, but hey, nothing ever happens with me. Yeah, the BT swag, you got that right. Yeah, the BT swag. Yeah, so now uh, we've seen a, 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 a sparring, I'm going to say a sparring match by uh, Progress against McKenna. He really outdid him. He literally went in there and did his thing. Um, so uh, he totally dominated the Irish. The Irish tried to be somebody, but he just couldn't. And uh, it is what it is, you know. Let me go here. Boom. Go here. Boom. I've got to get my link back to this fight. Boom. Okay. Get my emails, I'll get back on it on this fight right here. No, I had to start it. I know, but they were talking about it and the damn computer went off of me. I was kind of pissed off. There we go. So I'm trying to get back on it. I mean, it was a good fight. The progress track was just a co main event. I didn't know that. So I'm getting it right now. Okay. I'm trying to get that fight back on here. Here we go. Three, boom. We're going to say go fast. Trying to get this link back on here, guys. Give me a second. Back here. Okay, back here. Well, there we go. Here we go. So here we go. We have the IBF title fight. Uh, IBF champion Sonny Edwards against uh, Muhammad Wasim. I was watching some fights with Muhammad Wasim last night to get a taste of him. He was uh, he had another another time to have a title uh, fight. He actually had another chance to win a title. He actually lost that time. I think it was back in 2018. But Wasim is a pressure fighter that comes forward, likes to get you on the ropes and go to your body. Um, I like what I see for him. Uh, he's coming in here with this, uh, he's got this green uh, uh, war time camouflage um, jacket on, boxing jacket on that says Falcon on it. 
And then you got Sonny, the confident Edwards. He's got a gold roll, rock and roll ball, black uh, stripes on, sing, rapping. Very confident, but uh, don't guys do not sleep on uh, Wasim, Wasim uh, Muhammad, Muhammad Wasim from Pakistan. He's a pressure fighter. We know uh, Sonny Edwards is a very defensive minded fighter, uh, very uh, quick, very fast, likes to work his movement in angles and around you. So he, he's very confident. It's a big fight for him. Uh, well, she's kind of come here to try to prove something. Oh, shit. Sonny Edwards coming in and announcing him right now. He's got the green and gold gloves on. There you go. There you go, yeah. Confident, man. Very confident, Sonny Edwards. Yo, I hate to say it, but the boy, this, this card is really empty. I don't know how much money for Ronald Minnick is. They couldn't have made a lot of money off of this. All Asian, you please hit that like button. Thank you for being here. Program Reminder. Brandon will be here. Uh, we'll be covering uh, the Alex Rocha, the Alex Rocha, uh, Blair the Flair car fight in Golden Boy. And I'm going to be here covering the top ranked fight tonight. Uh, Tonight at 7:15. So here comes Edwards with his gold robe on, black trimmings on. Holding, he got his friend holding up his uh, a team holding up the IBF title belt. Very confident fight. I do like uh, this guy. I like Sonny Edwards, man. I ain't gonna lie. This is one of the guys I really like. The fight that's going on now is Sonny Edwards, uh, IBF featherweight title. Uh, we, uh, IBF world flyweight title. Sonny Edwards against Muhammad Wasim. Muhammad is here at 13, 13, 12 fights. Uh, 13 fights, 12, one, eight KOs, one loss. Um, Sonny Edwards is 17 and four. I mean, 17 and over four uh, knockouts. Doesn't have a lot of power in his punches. We know that, but he's a very quick fighter. Very defensive, uh, uh, defensive minded fighter. Where Muhammad Wasim is the opposite. Muhammad Wasim is a very a strong. Uh, what I seen last night of him, he's a pressure fighter that comes forward, and if he gets you on the ropes, he likes he, he likes to throw a lot of punches and try to break you down from the ropes. So it's gonna be a good fight. We just finished watching the other fight where Regis Porras got a TKO to come. They're announcing right now. Both fighters are in the ring looking at each other. They're looking at each other like when they did on the face of the way in. The Falcon. Mohammed the Falcon Wasim. They're both looking at each other, staring them down before the bell. Wasim was not even getting scared by that. Look at it. I, I see, I mean, uh, Sonny was just looking at him like, yeah. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a war. I think it's gonna be it's gonna go along the people think. Sonny, I always got uh, but you probably with the fight, but you better not sleep on this guy. Like I was telling you, I was watching him last night. Right now we're just waiting for the announcement. It's a good fight, man. Gonna be a good fight. Joining us around the world, the officials are ready. The boxers are ready. Yeah. Are you ready for the main event? Are you ready? Because I am. Let's do this. He looks excited. Muhammad is already. He's come with a record of 12 and 1, 8 knockouts, 5 6, 118. Pakistan from Pakistan. God bless him. He, this is his second title shot. You don't get that many opportunities in boxing, but they take your finances when they come. And here, here's a. Uh, 
Sonny Edwards. Gold and black stripes on his, on his, on his uh, boxing group. Pouncing back and forth. 17-0 with four KOs. Calls himself Showtime. Dang. These boxes, man. Showtime is his name. You believe that? Sonny Edwards is called Showtime. I want to see it. People are booing him over there in Dubai. I don't know why. So both fighters in the middle of the ring. They both still steering each other hard. Sonny Edwards looking at Wasim. Wasim looking at him, getting referee instructions. I think this fight's going to be a war. I think this fight's going to be better than the uh, Progress McKenna. Well, here we go. Waiting for the round. Sonny Edwards in that, with black gold, gold uh, uh, trunks on. Wasim with a uh, camouflage. Like he's going to war type type uh, uh, of, uh, of trunks. So here we go. Both fighters in the middle of the ring. Wasim throws a right jab. A left jab. Another left jab that's missing uh, Sonny Edwards. Edwards is looking at him, trying to get his uh, distance. Edwards answers with a right jab of himself. Wasim answers with a left jab, and then a right. A left jab to the body, by a right jab to the body by Wasim. What I see right now is both of my uh, fighters just posturing, trying to get their attention. But right off the bat, damn, right off the bat, uh, Sonny Edwards came out and launched with a uh, over right hand that misses, then a right and tries to push Wasim to the ropes. So you can tell what uh, Edwards is coming to try to hurt him. But then uh, Wasim answers back to the right. Miss left uh, jab by Wasim. Edwards is walking around, making Wasim miss. He's walking him around. I guess he's getting his distance. Nice uh, uh, right, over right by uh, over right hand by uh, Sonny Edwards. The referee warns about Wasim for holding him. Wasim comes up with a right uh, left jab. Right now, Sonny Edwards is taking his time. Not really doing nothing. Both fight. He's just going around, circling around the middle of the ring. Making uh, Wasim miss. Wasim just, just threw a, 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 a left jab. I, I'm thinking that uh, Sonny Edwards is taking his time, pacing himself, and not doing nothing. Uh, trying to see what, what Wasim is going to bring in to bring to him. Very patient is uh, Sonny Edwards right now. With, war, with the word war in the middle of his trunks. Wasim telling him to come on. Another left jab by Wasim, nothing doing. Again, Sonny Edwards is, is just trying to faint, faint, but nothing doing. See how uh, Wasim will react, not reacting to anything. I, I just think was, uh, uh, Sonny Edwards is taking his time and trying to get it as distant as punches. But right off the bat, Wasim lunges over with the right, but then Sonny Edwards catches him on. Left jab by uh, Wasim, top jab, guy Edwards by the ropes. Trying to faint to see which way, uh, Wasim trying to faint to see which way he gets. Uh, Edwards, Edwards not having it. Edwards catches him with the right, the right. But Wasim leans over with the left. And again, Wasim misses with the left. Damn. Then uh, Edwards stands up like a trope like this and, and, and mocking him and then catches him with a uh, uh, right of his own. Uh, that round could go to either way, I'll be honest with you. Nothing really going on right now. Uh, it was more of a posturing type thing. By, uh, uh, he got a uh, Sonny Edwards got a couple of good shots, but I think that uh, uh, Wasim got the better of him this one with a couple of jabs. I think he's ahead in this, in this fight. All uh, seven to you, please hit the uh, like button. We're going to the second round now. I want to see more of uh, uh, Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards is literally like going, going on attack mode. He, he, he actually launched over with the right, over right hand and pushed uh, Haim to the ropes and tried to get him again. So he's trying to, uh, he's not here to play. But neither is Wasim. Wasim just being, uh, 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 you know, jabbing, trying to get some points on the round. Not yet 
plenty of time left, which says to me I'm sure they have to start to get off the leash, so to speak, and to get a bit more aggressive. Well, here we go. Second round. Let's, I, I like to see more for Sunny, Sunny Edwards. Soft left jab by Sunny Edwards. Another left jab by Sunny Edwards. Then he does a combination that catches uh, our scene. Another soft jab by Sunny Edwards. Our scene's coming forward, not being faced with whatever Edwards throws at him. Painting to see what Edwards is going to do. Edwards just pushes him back. Both fighters still going in circles. Missed uh, over right, I mean, a right shot by Haseem. Edwards launches forward with a right and a left and misses uh, Haseem. Haseem comes back with a left. Sonny Edwards again catches him with two quick uh, left, uh, right jabs and then moves to the side. Both got but I, I, I trying. I, I don't know what I was doing. I think it was. I, I thought he was just trying to get comfortable. Now it goes in, throws a right and a left, and tries throwing combinations, but nothing doing. Hasim blocks them all. Comes back forward. Hasim's push, trying to push Edward to the ropes. Edward knows that. Edward keeps lateral movement, left and right. Catches him with a right jab. And again, Hasim pushes him to the rope like I said he would. His right away goes to the body of Edwards. Break, the referee breaks him back up. Beautiful. Uh, Edwards comes back with a combination of his own, a right and a left. Then a couple quick rights jabs by Edwards. Edwards again catches him with a left jab to the face of Hasim. Hasim is complaining to the referee. Hasim misses just a, 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 a right jab. He just missed. Yeah, left jab. Hasim just missed. I think uh, Edwards getting his, his, his uh, rhythm down and is actually getting uh, to stop throwing his combination. Right now, he's just throwing close face, throwing close face, and actually going to the body of uh, what's uh, what's he? Edwards pushing back to the middle of the ring. I see him in the high guard, keeping his head moving left to right. Again, open nice shot, open uh, right shot by uh, Edwards, and then literally moving to the right. Edwards is throwing his punches, but he's not staying uh, stationary. He's constantly moving. Uh, but once um, Hasim gets him in the ropes, he goes to that body. Again, the referee warns uh, Hasim about that. Watch his elbows. Nice right up, uppercut by Hasim. I mean, by Edwards. Hasim quickly holds on to him. Nice right by uh, Edwards. Miss right uppercut by Edwards. Then a left that catches. Uh, Hasim, Hasim gets into the body. Damn, that referee's just getting on Hasim for everything. Again, Edwards catches him with a right. Referee breaks him back up. This round I have to definitely give to uh, Edwards. I think Edwards is trying to get his rhythm down and he's starting to throw his combinations. And, and the thing, thing about what's so hard about uh, fighting Edwards is that he uh, he doesn't stay still for you, and his lateral his lateral movement from left to right is causing the uh, a, a pressure fighter like has seemed to come forward and have a direct target on him. All seven to you, like I say, hit that pro program reminder, uh, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, super chat. I uh, really appreciate it for the channel. I'm going to be here for the uh, tonight's fight, uh, the, uh, the top rank fight. And uh, right now, uh, before this fight, it was a good fight with Regis per, uh, Progress and uh, McKenna. There was a WBC eliminator, and uh, uh, Progress just used him as a sparring man. He beat the shit out of him and uh, got a six round TKO, and that was the end of it. They stopped the fight. Um, I mean, he, he won the fight, and uh, I mean, I'm kidding, I mean, uh, progress, and progress is going to move forward and get a title eliminated. So here we are, the third round of 12, Once he, right off the bat of the ring, uh, Edwards is throwing a, a right right jab, moving around, he's constantly moving, he's making it hard for uh, Seem to get his punches off, to be honest. Sonny Edwards again, tapping him, going to the body, Haseem is in a high guard, nothing doing. Pushing Edwards back. Edwards is actually moving left and right. Again, missed uh, over right by uh, 
Edwards, referee breaks him back out. Oh, nice uh, right shot by Edwards and the left to the body by Edwards. Again, here comes Hasim. Hasim comes forward with the high guard. He's got Edwards by the ropes again. But again, he got him by the ropes again. And quickly, Edwards holds on to him because Edwards knows. Oh, man, this fucking referee just... He don't like he don't like that scene. The damn referee from Belgium. Again, again, Edwards is trying to throw combinations, trying to catch up a scene, like they throwing hard combinations, but it's missing. And uh, I see which is pressuring him moving back the way he wants to the ropes and to the uh, the corner. And right now he got him by the ropes, he's getting right off the bat. Uh, Edwards turns around and, and, and uppercuts him with a uh, with a right. Referee, I want to both of them to be careful with the head butts. Right off the bat, Edwards comes up with a left jab, fighting off his back foot to the rope, constantly moving, making it difficult, missing right by uh, Edwards. Mohammed throws a, a left jab that catches Edwards. Edwards is going, just moving back and forth laterally, making him fight, making him miss. Jesus. Nice jab. Two, two quick left jabs by uh, Edwards. And again, Muhammad got him uh, going to the body by the ropes. Referee wants Edwards. Listen to him. Watch your hands. Breaks the fighters up. Right off the, the break. I see him get through combinations. Got Edwards by the rope. And he's teeing off on him right now. He's got Edwards by the rope. And he's going right to back. I say he was. Left uppercut. Another uppercut by Hasim. He's got Edwards in trouble. Edwards answers back off the ropes. He throws the right. And Hasim's going for that left jab. Again, right, left by Hasim. Oh, Hasim's beat the shit out of Edwards. Edwards trying to fight back on the rope. He's taking it, though. I'll give it to you. He's taking it. He gets off the ropes. Try to push Hasim. Hasim pushes back to the ropes. Been a good round for Hasim. Again, Edwards is trying to uppercut Hasim to get out the ropes and get him in the ring. Nothing doing. Hasim in the high guard. Comes back. Again, pushing him close, pushing him back. He's trying to push him back to the ropes again. Edwards swings one for the left. Edwards took the wild uh, right shot and the left. That round completely to me went to uh, Muhammad, uh, the Falcon, uh, Wasim. I said it I, when I was watching his fights. He likes to pressure you, get you either in the corner or on the ropes. And when he gets you there, he goes to the body and he loves to throw the, the left hook or the left uppercut and hurt you while he got you there and get his points there. That's how he fights. Edwards uh, didn't have an answer for that. So he, he got out of it. It looked like they didn't hurt him, but he looked pretty bad the way uh, this guy was piecing him up, even though he held his own. All 19, you please hit this like, the, the like button if you haven't. We're right now in the, in the fourth round of a 12 rounder for, uh, for a good fighter here in uh, Wasim, uh, Muhammad Wasim. Um, the referee had it well on my seat because I see him pushing back, using his head to push uh, Edwards back to the uh, to the ropes. And he can't do that. Push his body to the ropes. You got to use your, uh, your boxing ability, not your head. So here we go. Fourth round. Right now. Right off my right fourth round. Edwards comes with a quick left. Two quick rights and a left. And, and, and my, well, I see him just walking him down, patient in the high guard. Get him back where he wants him. But while he's doing that, um, Edwards is throwing through a quick right and a quick left. Well, I see him just threw a left that uh, right that miss. If, if Edwards gonna win this fight, he cannot get he cannot allow uh, well, seems to get him by the ropes. He cannot allow him to get by the ropes. He's he, he's got to keep that movement going and continue to keep it going. Or it's gonna be a problem. Assuming the hard guys got uh, Edwards by the ropes again. Uh, uh, let me see. He got him by the ropes again. So uh, he's got to go ahead and actually go ahead and get, stay away from the ropes. Because if not, what seems going to eat him up alive. I'm going to tell you that right now. He's going to eat him up alive. He's going to eat him up alive. He's got to go ahead and... Uh... Okay, guys. Yeah, it's a good fight so far, man. I'm telling you. It's not an easy fight for... Uh, I don't think it's a it really easy fight. Okay. 
back together on the inside there, and Edwards is getting increasingly frustrated. You're right, damage to. Yeah, man, uh, but see, foot pressing the action, and, and again, by you pressing the action and get on by the rope, it's actually frustrating. Uh, 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 what's the name? Um, Sonny Edwards, and, and I said that before the fight started. If he get you, if he get you by the ropes, you're in trouble. You know. Yeah. Wow. What a fight, guys. Nice right by uh Edwards. Edwards from right, right, left, left and right, and then he holds him. Again, while he pressing the action, got he's got uh he's got uh Edwards by the ropes. As soon as he gets by the ropes, right off the bat, what does uh what Edwards does? Quickly, he wants to hold on because he knows he has nothing. And again, I see right by the ropes, going to that body. It's a good fight, man. I ain't gonna allow you. Um, this I, I got it, man. It's, it's gotta be close. I don't. I I, I have. I, I I'll say right now it's two two. Two two and uh. And what's the name? Got it. He's bleeding from his eyes. Yeah, they get they're talking to get instructions what he's got to do. Um, what I like so far is that Sonny uh, on the ropes, he's having problems. Yeah, Sonny's got to get off the ropes. Um, his best way is to, to keep doing what, he, what, his, what his strengths are. Work through your strengths. Move to the left. Move to the right. Do not become a station, uh, an area target for what scene because if you do, you're going to be in trouble. And, and I said that in the beginning of the fights. I was watching Wasim's fight last night. And one thing he likes to do is get you in the corner. He comes with a pressure fighter on a high guard. He gets you in the corner. And once he gets you in the corner, he attacks that body. So here we are in the fifth round. Right off the bat, uh, Edwards comes up with a two quick jabs and then two quick uh, right jabs and left jabs. Wasim is trying to push the action. Missed jab by uh, Wasim. Nice right uh, jab by uh, Edwards. Another right jab by Edwards. Another jab by Edwards. And now he's moving laterally. He's making it hard for, for our team to get him by the ropes. Missed over right by Edwards. Quickly, Edwards holds him on. But what seems fighting off the ropes, going to the body. Both fighters fighting back and forth. Referee breaks him back up. They're in the middle of the ring. Quick uh, left by, by Wasim, nothing doing. And as soon as uh, Edward feels he's by the ropes, he quickly holds on to uh, the Falcon, Wasim. Missed left, over, over left by uh, Edwards. Missed too quick. Missed uh, right jazz by Wasim, but Wasim again got Edwards by the ropes. And once again, he goes to the body. He's got Edwards where he wants him. Again, throwing that left. Edwards fights back from, uh, from back of the ropes. Nice left uppercut by Wasim. Edwards is trying to fight back, but he quickly holds on. And again, Wasim is fighting. Edwards has no answer. And again, he breaks him apart. Nice left by uh, Edwards that didn't do nothing. Referee breaks him back apart and warns Wasim up for his elbow. Wasim again in the high guard with a nice left jab and a right jab by Wasim. Missing with combination by Wasim, but he's pushing him to the ropes and pushing up to the, uh, the corner, and uh, at least Sonny's aware of that, and he's moving away from that. But again, he's got him by the ropes again, and he's left, the left jab, uppercut by what seems is good. He's got Edwards in the corner. Missed over right hand by uh, Edwards, and he's pounding to the body him. But see, he's uh, eating lunch and dinner. Eating lunch, dinner, breakfast, everything. Edwards got no answer. He's got him by the ropes where he wants him. And again, Edwards trying to fight him off from the ropes. Nothing doing. Trying to fight back. Both of them are going back and forth. Wow. Again. Edward trying to break him apart. Referee breaks him back up. Again. Asim goes back up. Paints on the high guard. Throws the uh, over right, left, right. That misses. Edward looks tired. 
Hasim still got there. Got his energy. Edwards throws the right. Wow, what a fight, man. What a fight, guys. What a fight. It's been a good fight so far, guys. Wow. I give this I give this round to uh to uh Seam again, man. I don't know about Sonny, man. Sonny looks like he's in trouble, man. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I think what seems winning this fight right now, man. The way I see it, if uh, Sonny Edwards will get off the ropes, the way he's pounding him, like I said he was going to do, that's how he fights you. But he fights you in the high guard, comes forward, pressure you, pressure you, and when he gets you on the ropes, when he when he gets you on the ropes, up a jab, up a jab, body left, up a jab, up a jab. And, 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 and I'm going to say right now, if Edwards does not keep his movement, his lateral movement, and use his quickness, he's going to be in trouble all night long. Wow. So here we're the sixth round, both in the middle of the middle of the ring. Both of them are just jabbing, both, both of them are just exchanging jabs right now. Again, now again, uh, Edwards is doing the right thing, using his lateral movement, keep his up left and right. He went in there through a, a quick uh, left, a quick right, then a left. Nothing doing to uh, Wasim. Wasim's coming forward. Neither guy's doing nothing right now. Nice, two nice shots by uh, two nice right shots by uh, uh Edwards. Both fighters back in the middle of the ring. And again, Edwards is holding. Referee breaks him back up. Both fighters in the middle of the ring again. Oh, I was seeing Alon just over with a, uh, with a right. And it, it gets Edwards by the ropes and quickly uh, Edwards holds on and pushes him back in the rope. Oh, shit. The referee just deducted a point of what I seen for holding. This is bullshit. Nice right jabs, but that being said, what has got to do more than that. But see, come on, knock the fuck out of him. You got, you winning the fight. Now you got deducted a point. That's gonna be big in the, at the end. Edwards is in the high guard right now, but again, the one that's pushing the action is Wasim. He's got him again by the ropes, and he's going to the body. Edwards trying to push Wasim back. Wasim pushing him back to the ropes. Uppercut by Wasim. Uh, they're both exchanging uppercuts right now uh, uh, in the middle of uh, I mean, in, by the ropes. But again, uh, Wasim is getting the best of, of, of uh, Edwards right now. Edwards needs to get have find an answer to get away from the ropes. And again, he's going to the body. Man, he's piecing them up right now. He's getting a lot of points, uh, Wasim. Throwing right. Going to the body. Edwards got to fight off of that. Get away from that, Edwards. Edwards looks tired, too. I ain't going to lie. The body shot that Wasim is giving him, I think he's taking his toe. Again, again, Malik trying to exchange with uh, Wasim, and, he, and he's getting some punches inside. He's getting uppercuts, but Wasim's getting the best of him against the ropes. He's fighting uh, with his back to the ropes, uh, Sonny Edwards. I mean, he's fighting. He's fighting back, but uh, Wasim got on. Wasim breaks him back out. Fuck that referee, man. I can't stand his dickhead. Oh, and then and finally, um, you know the problem with uh, Edwards is? He caught him with a right, and then he started posing. He needs to stop that shit. You you're not winning the fight. You only gonna, if you do win the fight because that stupid ass that point is ducking for you. This guy's pushing you around the ropes, it's getting you by the ropes, beating the shell with his left hook, going to the body, left uppercuts, and you're sitting there, you catch one right out of the whole round, and you want to pose? Get the fuck out of here. Hey, well, you gotta show me more. You they say you were a defensive fighter. You told me uh 
that, that you're quick, but you are, but you got to use your lateral movement and stay away from the ropes, and you're not doing that. The last round, Hasib tore you up for lunch, tore you up for supper, and tore you up for breakfast. He was going to the fight. Yes, you were fighting back. You were fighting back, but you you were not do you you were not doing what you're supposed to do. Come on now. I expect more from you. I expect more from you, Sonny. I expect more from you. And and, and, and all 25 of you, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. We're in the sixth, seventh round of a 12 rounder for the IPF title that Sonny Edwards, Sonny Showtime Edwards uh, has. Right now, I got, I got, a, I'm sorry, I got a three to two for Hasim, and I ain't lying. I got, that's that's what I'm seeing. I could be wrong with my eyes, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm not seeing it would be that uh, the guy that's very quick that uses lateral movement, that very defensive. I don't see that from him at all, you know. So, I mean, at, at some point, you got to come on and, and just do your thing. It's ridiculous. You got to know how to come back. You know, you got to sit there. You're not doing that. You're not using your strengths. You're letting Hasim push you around. Like I said, he's going to push you around. I said that. I said he's going to push you around. And he's doing that right now. He's pushing you around. Believe it or not, he's pushing you around, and you don't know how to handle it. You need to get off the ropes, fight off the ropes, and do not stand by the ropes. Let's go on here. Come on. Uh, hold on, guys. <laughs> Back up thing. Back forth. Yeah, so uh, like I said, just uh, Edwards got to show me something now. These are the championship rounds, man. He's got to do something. I ain't going to lie to you. He's got to come in this round and do something. When the seven round, and that's what I see. I see him got Edwards in the corner throwing left hook, left hook, left hook to the body. And finally, uh, Edwards gets out and throws the left hook of his own, and then a right and stop back. He's, he's, he's better stop. Oh, man. Oh, this fucking. I oh, mean, if this guy lost the fight, if Wasim lost the fight, it's because of the referee. He took another point for head button, which is bullshit. So, so now it's two points. He took one for holding, one for head button, but he didn't even do all that. Fucking guy from Belgium. The Sonny Edwards wins the fight. It's not because he uh he beat this guy clean. This guy got this guy got him right back against the ropes again, beating the shit out of him. Like little him. I mean, Sonny's fighting back. But then he, like right now, he's he got he's got something by the ropes. Sonny's missing all his shots by the ropes. And he's going to the body. Hasim's going to the body. Finally, finally, uh Sonny Edwards turns him around. Literally turns him around. The referee breaks him up, but he's not really winning the fight the way. If he wins this fight, those, those two points are gonna be the difference, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. In my opinion, those two points are going to be the difference. And I'm just saying, I just say the way I see it. I mean, uh, Sonny, uh, he gets, Sonny gets some good shots in, but what he does, he wants to show ball after the good shot. You can't do that. You're losing the fucking fight. You're losing the fight, man. In my book, you're losing the Well, you probably winning out with those two points deducted. I ain't going to lie. And again... I mean, he's fighting. Up, I mean, Tony's fighting off the back of his feet. He's doing that. He's fighting back and forth, but he's letting Hasim get the best of him and push him around the ring. I don't want to see that from him, you know. But I think those two points—one for holding, one for headbutt—it's gonna play a key in this fight. To be honest with you guys, those two points that I see was no call for—it's uh, gonna be the difference in this fight. And, 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 and Sonny, whether you want to look at it or not, he looks tired. All that body shots that this guy's been giving him. So we're going to the eighth round. I mean, Sonny got to do something. In my opinion, Sonny got to do something. What do you all got? Yeah, man, when it says you're right about that. You definitely right about you. Mm. So here we go. Here we go. Tony comes out uh, softly jabbing, but not doing enough. Yeah. I mean, he's got to come out uh, to me. Like I said, you probably win this fight only because. Mm -hmm. 
Edwards came out with a left jab. Fighting all night, just fighting from his back foot, though. Uh, as, as the fight been going on, I ain't gonna lie. And he can't do that with this guy. So see, you got him with a, well, got him with another shot. Well, seems getting the best of him, guys. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. But she was getting the best of him. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Nice uh, right jab by by um, Edward for nothing more doing. Right, I mean uh, that was just holding a lot. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Again, what seems got him by the ropes, throwing left jabs, right, soft jabs, uppercut, and and, and Edwards not even answering back. Now the referee's yelling him for his, for his goddamn shoulder. Fuck that referee! You full of shit, motherfucker! Edwards is throwing these combinations, but he's like, he looks tired. Fuck that referee, puñeta! Again, I see got him by the ropes. Finally, uh, Edwards turns him around, but once he gets to the rope, he's holding on. Now Edwards is raising. I was trying. I was trying to fight off the rope, but he looks tired. I ain't gonna lie, man. The, again, both men look tired. I see pushing him back to the rope. Misses the left. That was looks tired, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. But so doesn't it seem? I see he's got him the best. He got him on the rope. That was is fighting, but he's not fighting with the same uh, hunger that he had in the beginning of the fight, man. And right now, I see he's piecing him up, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Got him on the ropes, going to the face, throwing uppercuts. Again, I mean. God damn, Edwards, get the fuck off the ropes, Edwards! Get the fuck off the ropes! Edwards, move to the left, move to the right, get the fuck off the ropes! Damn! Jesus! That round right there, man, I, I, I would still give it to a scene. But I think it seems going to lose this fight. Uh, the two point deduction, which I think was on call, one for holding, one for headbutt, and now the Lewis played by some shoulder, some bullshit. They probably need to go to hell. He got uh, two rounds. Wait a minute, come in the cafe. Okay, we'll come in the cafe now. Uh, yeah, uh, it was uh, it was just uh, I think it was an earlier round. I don't remember round, but they were both either way, it was uncalled for. If you ask me, no fucking way you're gonna tell me that. That uh, I mean this guy literally, he's he, he, he's, he, he's really uh. A pressure fighter, and I watched this fight last night, man. So I knew Edward was in, up for in it. But Edward needs to keep the upper uh, lateral movement and don't let this guy get him around the ropes. Don't let him get him around the ropes. So here we go, middle of the round. The ball fight in the middle of the round. This is ninth round right now. Uh, right now, uh, Sonny's trying to gain his composure, trying to jab, you know. Hey, can you push this thing? Why is this coming up and down? I'm trying to get this in the center. Hold on. Yeah, hold on, guys. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm trying to do. Thank you, right there. Thank you. Thank you, honey. I love you. Fucking wife gotta keep me in peace. Come on. Everybody say hi to my beautiful wife. You can't see if you know you're in the camera. Get on the camera. Oh, my God, I love you. Love you. Enjoy it. Wait. Huh? I, will, I, will, I will. I know I've got my heart thing. Yeah. So we're in the ninth round right now. Uh, Sonny Edwards is actually seems to get his composure a little bit. Um, he needs to know to realize that he's jabbing, throwing rights now, trying to catch Hasim. Hasim is still coming forward, pushing the action. Finally, Edwards feels like he's comfortable moving left and right like he's been doing the whole fight. This is what he got to do if he wants to win this fight. He's got to move left and right. Don't stand there and literally uh, literally sit there and, and, and let him walk you through the rounds. Now he's moving. He's, he's connecting on his, a couple of his shots. 
Nassim's coming forward. Nice uppercut and right shot by Edwards. An old right hand by Edwards that actually caught Hasim. Nice left jab by Edwards that caught Hasim. Again, Edwards, uh, don't, don't get trapped and get far uh, to get in the ropes. He, he was trying, uh, Hasim was trying to push him back or get him back there, and, and Edwards be conscious of that. He's moving right to the left. Keep doing what he's doing now. Win the championship round, and who knows? Again, she came up with all right and left. Tagged again. It's, this is a close fight, guys. It's a close fight, but Edwards looked good. See if he get his composure. We'll see what happens. Both fighters in the middle of the ring, exchanging uppercuts. Right now, I see getting the best of him. But a nice left, uh, right. Two nice right jab punches by uh, a scene. I mean by Edwards. A scene pushes Edwards by the ropes again, but he's missing his shots. But he's got Edwards where he wants to buy the ropes again. Referee breaks him back up. Again, see pressure in the action. Got Edwards up by the ropes again. Look, he's trying to climb him. Edwards using his quick, trying to use his quickness. This one, I still I will give to the scene too. I'm sorry. Wow. Yeah, man. What you guys got it so far? Yeah, man. I'm trying, to, Linda. Man, I just I I, I want to see a good fight. I know he's very talented. They say that, uh, that he moves left and right and he uses his uh, angles and everything. But, but the problem he's having is that when, uh, like I said, I said before the fight started, I see he's a pressure fighter. If he gets you by the rope, if he gets you by the corner, he's going to throw that left hook and that left uppercut to that body. And that's what he's been doing. And he's been getting the better of Sonny. But Sonny finally waking up and figuring out that he's got to move and keep his movement going. Wow, I mean, I'm just telling you guys, I don't understand it. I mean, he's probably, like I say, they're, they're ducking two points off of Hasim, so that's a lot to do. So we're in the 10th round, right off the bat, Sonny comes in the back foot, throwing two quick right jabs. But uh, Hasim's back in the back of the ropes, right in the left stop, right in the left by uh, Sonny, right jab uh, to the body by Hasim. Sonny answers back with the left of his own. Hasim answers back. I see got him right back again, but what's making it difficult for Asim to get him by the ropes is that I see Edwards keeps moving. He keeps his move going, but then he stops. And again, I see started going to that body right off the bat. Uh, Sonny grabs him and holds him real quick. The referee breaks him back up. I see him again. Trying to get him back by the ropes. Nice right shot by uh, Sonny that caught the eye of uh, Asim. Both fighters in the middle of the ring. Again, I see coming forward. Again, nice uh, right by uh, Edwards, and then he keeps moving, keeps that lateral movement that caught, that connected. Again, nice shot that missed, uh, jab missed by Hasim. Another miss. Now, Edwards is doing what he's supposed to do, keep his movement going. But when, when once he stops and gets to the rope, he quickly holds on to uh, Hasim because he knows he, Hasim's going to go to that body. I see the hot guys coming forward. Both fighters look tired. Right now, uh, Sonny's jabbing, moving around the ring. Like, uh, again, making that scene, missing the shots. Now the referee gets a warning to uh, Sonny Edwards. And again, I see him coming forward. Oh, he cut a nice, beautiful shot on, uh, on Edwards. But Edwards come back and ends up one of his own. A minute 17 to 10th round. Both fighters are just uh, posting right now. They're posturing right now. Nothing else doing. Both of them are holding on right now. It's been a long, tiring fight. I don't think that uh, missed right by uh, over right by uh, Sonny Edwards. Again, the pressure fighter is pushing him to the ropes again. Again, Sonny Edwards is answering with right hands real quick and moving to the right. That's what he's supposed to do. That's what he's supposed to do. Sonny's doing the right thing right now. I mean, it's a close fight, guys. I don't know about this fight. I don't think I don't think uh, Sonny's totally dominated the whole fight, to be honest. You know? And that's talking real. Okay. Get the hell out of the back. Okay. 
Hold on, guys. Yeah, man. So, I mean, Sonny's not dominated the fight at all. It's going to be a close fight. I think he's going to win it on points, to be honest. 19 seconds left. Again, I see pressure in the action. And I'm getting uh, him in the corner. Wow, that's just not a bad fight, man. Slips going around at this point. You've no, man, Martinez, I'll be honest, if he fights Martinez, he's getting his ass whooped. BT, if you're gonna lie, if he fights Martinez, Martinez is gonna get, beat the shit out of Sonny Edwards. Because right now, Hasim has gotten the best of him, got, has got him by the ropes, has got him out of the corner many a times, and I, 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 and I gotta give credit to Edwards. Edwards, when he, when he, does, when he gets his movement, movement going left and right, he's catching up with some right, uh, right shots. Which makes sense. He's countering, but and he keeps him moving, which makes uh, Hasim miss a lot. So yeah. So I mean, uh, he's doing good with that, but he's got to keep it going. He's gonna win this fight. That's just my opinion. You know. Yeah. So let's see right now. We're going to the 10th uh, round right now. No, 11th round right now. I'm sorry. Right off the bat. Edwards comes up with a right shot to the head of Asim. Uh, Asim the Falcon walking him down. Trying to get him close to the ropes again like he always does. Softly walking uh, Edwards down. A nice body shot by Asim. Edwards gets away from the ropes and turns himself around. But again, Asim pressing the jab and soft jab. Got, got, Edwards by the ropes again. Edwards got to keep that moving going like he's doing right now. He's making a scene miss because he's not becoming a, a, he's not becoming a, a, a target for a scene. Yeah, but in this fight, uh, they did that the two points off a uh, scene, which I totally disagree with. And I seem, I seem if they're pushing the action, has been pushing Sonny Edwards to the ropes, and, and, and literally, um, He's been getting tagged with that body, with that left hook and the left of the body. I'm not going to take that away from the scene. Again, the scene going jabbing, pushing Edwards backwards. Nobody's throwing punches right now. I see trying to get him by the ropes, but the lateral movement by uh, Edwards is keeping uh, is keeping uh, Hasim from throwing the shots. He's missing again, missing a uh, right jab by a uh, left jab uh, by Hasim. Yeah, so we just gotta keep going. He's gotta keep going what he's doing. That's what he gotta keep doing. Keep going what he's do keep doing what he's doing. He'll be fine. You know, he's gotta keep going. He gotta keep doing what he's doing. He'll be fine. He's gotta keep it going though the whole time. He can't just sit back and oh yeah, I'm gonna do it. Blah 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 blah. No, you gotta keep going the whole time. You have to. You know. Okay, what's going on here? Come on. What's going on, you guys? My fucking sit here and play with me. Come on, let's go. Let's okay, just trying to get this right because the damn thing's frozen me. I'm trying to get like uh, but, but like I told you, if he keeps doing that, he can win this fight. But I, I'm not gonna give him full credit so that he dominated this fight because he, he did it. He didn't. Uh, he did not uh, win this fight. Like dominating, he didn't, to me he didn't win dominating. I don't think he's gonna win it dominating. I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. Fucking link what froze on me, so give me a chance, guys. All oh, seventeen, you here? What Harold say? Take that one. Why isn't that going? Come on, guys. I'm almost there, guys. Sheesh. Final one's coming on. This thing wants to freeze right now. Come on, I'm out of Fresh it. Nope. Here we go. Here we 
go. Nieta. Okay. Give me a second. Again, Hasim got up by the ropes again, pounding the shit out of uh, Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards walking around confidently. He should be trying to fight, make this a fight, and don't act like you know he's like he won the fight. Jesus. Hasim's coming forward, got him on the body again, throwing the left jab to the body. Quickly, uh, uh, Sonny Edwards holds on to him. A minute 32 left, championship rounds. Again, I see pressing the action. Nice uh, uh, right jab by uh, by Edwards, but that's all he's doing. Not doing a lot. Um, fucking referee, man. I can't stand this guy. This fight's lost because it's fucking referee. It seems to be what we should uh, win this fight. I don't, uh, in my opinion, Sonny Edwards, if he was fighting Martinez, he's going he's gonna to get folded up like a, like a steel chair. I'll tell you that right now. I see he's coming forward again, got him by the rope. I need to have you to fuck up, get him by the ropes. But he can't because right now, uh, I see him doing the right thing, but then he quickly uh, launches over and catches him with a right. Referee breaks him back up. Uh, I see him. Uh, Sonny Edwards, Sonny Edwards backing up again to the ropes. For 40 seconds left. Come on, you need to get him. Again, he got, once, anytime he gets him, got him by the ropes again. I see him going to the body. Got that movement that... Uh, Sonny Edwards is doing his constant problem for the scene. 30 seconds left. Who wants uh 26 seconds left? Who wants it better? Who wants this more? <clears throat> I see he's pressing the action. But uh Sonny is actually uh moving back and forth, not throwing a lot of fight. He sure feels he won the rounds. Fucking guy, two and uh, man, my teeth will piece him up. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't want to hear about goddamn uh Linda says, I think Sonny will all, but I don't know, man. If he comes out here doing this bullshit, I mean, he, 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 I mean, no disrespect, but if he, if he comes out like this, I mean, if I see him, I see him, if I see this probably would have been a closer fight than what it is, but those two points that they deducted from a scene are going to be big. I'll tell you that right now. But don't tell me that Sonny Edwards is this big guy, this quickness, his angles, and all this shit, when this guy was pushing him around the ring against the ropes, and go into that body like it was nothing. No, Brendan, that was not a master class. Brendan, that was BT. That was not a master class at all, at all. The fuck out of here! They said oh, they're only gonna give uh, only two rounds to our uh, scene. I see fought a good fight. It wasn't a master class, BT. It was not. If he wins this fight, it's because uh, he still would have won probably a point, even if those two points weren't, weren't there. But I see a lot of things on on, 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 uh, on him. He didn't use his movement as I expected him to use. He didn't dominate any move because of his movement. 
Um, Asim was pushing him to the ropes, pushing him to the corner, going to the body a lot. So he might have squeezed out this victory, but it wasn't what I thought, what I expected from him. No, he didn't do it. Brenda, he didn't do shit with the mangoes. He wasn't even for answering. He answered he had a couple good shots throughout the fight. But he didn't throw a lot of shots off with the angles. He didn't neutralize it enough where he moved around. He got the movement. But as far as he getting on shots and making them miss, making them look bad, he did not make it seem look bad at all. You gotta give credit where credit is due. Yeah, I, I have to agree on that one, BT. Yeah, it was a close fight, man. But I mean, the two points coming to play. Um, I if he if if if, if Sonny Edwards is gonna fight Martinez. Yeah, Martinez he lost to a legend, Chaco Tito, respect to him, he, he grew from that, but he got to do better. Here we go. Yeah, Sonny Edwards gets the win, but you know what? He didn't impress me, Brandon. That motherfucker did not impress me at all. He was good. He got the fight. The two point deduction. One rep we had is one, one sixteen to one something. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know what he was watching. The other one, one hundred one, one hundred five, and that's one hundred one, one hundred whatever it was. Yeah, man. Congratulations that uh, Edwards won. But I keep talking to him right now. First round, you showed that you could be the matter doors, what everyone expected you to do, and then you ended up changing punches, lying on the ropes. What was the reason for changing? Very disappointing, Sonny Edwards. In the mix. You know, I keep getting told I keep running and running and running, so I wanted to mix it up a little bit. And Wazim is a world class operator and very good in the side. So I thought I had the rounds back, but you know, we need to prove it in here. You need to learn on the job. So, yeah, I do want to say a big respect to Wazim. Big respect to his coach, Danny. He gave respect to what's in. I just thought I was always that little one step ahead tonight. Well, we know that there was a grudge match going on. Yeah, he won a little bit. Uh, he edged it out, but not by much. You guys seem to hug it out. It's settled now. You guys uh, put that part of this uh, rivalry aside. Yeah, I mean, it was never between me and Wes. Me and his coach, Danny, we go back no. to each other. He trained my brother. He didn't impress me because... When he was going uh, going to the left and the right, he wasn't getting all the shots that you say he was getting. He wasn't. And um, Hasim was getting the better of him against the ropes. He's going to get his ass fucking whooped. This meant a lot to Danny, this meant a lot to Hasim, so of course you expect it, but... You know. As every fighter tonight who I've seen put on as much pressure as he could, he fought every minute of every round. It got pretty rough in there inside. No, I, I have no power. he doesn't have no power. Yeah, I mean, I wanted to make Linda, your boy won. Sonny Edwards won, Linda. You should be, yay! I mean, he learned. I know Wazim is a world level inside fighter. He showed that against Marie, who was our only mutual opponent. So I wanted to show that I could mix it up and tough out a little bit and score on my own. But, you know, some of them close rounds, they probably were slapping him over the top. <laughs> I thought I won well. And yeah, you know, I want Martinez next. I want the ring magazine. Linda! Your boy won! Yes, Sonny! Directly, you've shown that you can be the matador. You've shown that you can mix it up. We'd love to see you in a unification bout. What do you have to say to Martinez? Yeah, I did, but Martinez, because he wants to fight. But Eddie Hunt, you know, you're the best tomorrow in the world, and please, Eddie, give me that fight. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> champion, Sonny Edwards. Sonny Edwards. Uh, I was actually mocking Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn used to be his promoter, and he said, Eddie Hearn, give me, give me uh, uh, Martinez. He's the best fight in the world. You know. Uh, put him on there. He was making mock, mock and Eddie Hearns left and right. Sonny, the Matador style at the beginning clearly gave you trouble. Was your strategy all night just to keep the pressure on? Uh, first of all, I thank you my promotion from Ellen. 
and uh, everyone, um, uh, thanks to my trainer, and uh, I say the congratulations to Sunny. Uh, today's uh, no, Sunny stay on the rope because he couldn't contain her, Brandon. That's why he stay on the rope. Sunny stay on the rope because he couldn't handle. It. He was getting pushed around by our scene. That's why, right, because if he was doing his lateral movement, he would stay in the middle of the ring, go left to right. He did show me some good things, though. I ain't, going, I ain't not taking everything away, all the flowers from Sonny Edwards. When he was against the rope, when he started doing his lateral, uh, lateral, lateral movement and turning the fighter around and kept moving, he had very success. But he didn't do it a lot tonight, I'm sorry. But he did win the fight. You felt like the ref wasn't fair. What did you do on the inside? Do you think that might have given him reason to take two point deductions from you? Uh, yeah, it's a joke. What, what kind of, uh, he, why did he give me uh, warning for the during? Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, Brandon, send me the link. I was good, but I never give him I'll go live for the next one. I go live for, I like David C. David C. He's a hard worker. I watch him in the ring. All, I watch him on Instagram all the time. Always working hard. Go ahead, put him on. Well, you showed that you had no quit in you tonight. It was a very difficult 12 rounds, but you fought every minute of every round. <laughs> we hope to see you in the ring again. Great effort. Great fight, man. We'll see you one more time, I'm sure, in the near future. Radio around here with Mahmoud Wasim. Thank you so much. Definitely, I will be back stronger more. Thanks all. Yeah. Well, Paul Smith has joined me again. What a fight we just witnessed. It was eventful to say the least, but Sonny has successfully defended his world title. Guys, I'm uh, ready to send me the link for the David Avedition fight so I can just continue on. Uh, as soon as he sent it to me, I'll go ahead and go live for that. I mean, great, uh, great win for uh, he's a champion. He's a champion no matter what. Great win for him. Um, he went out there and uh, showed his skills, showed why his lateral move was, was was good, how he moved and everything. But I just don't like uh, if, he, if he fights, uh, uh, if he can step up and fight another level, uh, a better level fighter than Fasim, he's gonna be in trouble. He cannot stay in the ropes or in the corner and get beat down, because another three fight will cut, will cut that more short. You know? Do you think so? Okay, then, okay, Brandon, hold on. All right, let me go on here. Okay, let me go here. Yo, Brandon! Oh, I thought... I'm going to try to get off this live. I think I'm going to go ahead and go uh, continue on with the other fight right now. I'm going to do this link right now. Okay. What is it? Give me a second, guys. Okay. It's like slay. And done. Go. Done. 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 Oh my god, the name. David. Gonna be a simple name. Oh shit. Jim Powell, David. 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 Okay, name is David. Okay. Banisha. Maybe N E S. Y A N. Okay. Oh, shit. O S K R I. 
eyes gay like a book little book mess okay M E T Z boom okay all mine skin to on my is queen dash okay dash give me a second guys two here i go Let's see what happens oh perfect then i go here and two Try to go to the next slide, guys. Give me a second. Trying to get the next slide on, guys. Just give me a second with me. Give me a little bit. Give me a little Refresh it, guys. I'm trying to go out to the left next live, guys. So just give me a chance. I'm already I'm already on the website, Brandon. I just gotta go. I'm clicking the link right now. I'm clicking the link so, so I can see it come up, but it's not coming out even when I click it. No, but I, I, I'm actually on the link right now. It's uploading. You got to wait. I'm doing what you told me to do. You just got to be patient, son. Refresh it again. Okay, hold on, let me try now.
Things happening right now, Brandon. I'm looking at the screen, Brandon. Chill out, man. I'm getting it. Chill out, bro. You gotta be keep patient. If it's, I'm clicking the link, it's not coming on. It's not my fault. I'm clicking the link right now. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Which one? I got it. I got it. I'm on it right now. No, it's, I hit link two and it's not. It's giving me. I'm doing the same thing you show. Oh, oh, you sent me another one. Oh, I see it now. I see. Okay, let me change it. Okay, I didn't see that. One. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm focused on trying to get this done. Okay, hold on. On here, I'm trying to get on the computer. Hold on. I see it. Relax. I see it. Okay, let me go on right now. I'm going to type it in right now. TT. I know, Brendan. I know what you're doing, but, you know. Okay. Okay, it's tech tech careers. Okay. T E C H O R E E L S Tech Careers dot dot C O M. Well, why are you typing that? You just have to blink. On the computer, Brandon. But I'm saying isn't the live on that on No, the live's on the computer. I'm using the blue computer. Okay, explain to me how you want me to put it on a computer then. I'm using the, the tablet. Um, oh, my God, Brandon, you're ridiculous. I'm using the tablet to go alive um, for the stream yard, okay, in the comments. And I'm using Lulu's computer to go live. Huh? Is, is, is Lulu's email open? Yeah. Okay, all right, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email you the link. Okay, okay. all right. Love you, son. You got to get out of patience with me. Jesus. I, right, but just email me. I'm not you. I'm not computer savvy. I understand that. Okay, whether it's common sense or not, your common sense and 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 actually like understanding something and me comprehending is two different things. Love you. Okay, it's in there. Okay, let me go. Let me check it out. Let me put on my email. Okay. Hey, over here. Jeez. I need my own computer is what I need. That's my next thing when I get whatever I can get some okay, anyways. I don't know. I I I tell you I saw you everywhere like what the, the David Abbey issue. It's it's it's, it's it, I just said it's you it's me in your email. It's the very first email. I'm going right now to my email. Okay. Guys, hold on, I'm getting uh, hands on <laughs> Well it seems you don't want that fight, in my opinion. You watch your damn mind. Yeah, okay, I'll go. <laughs> Does that not close? Was he with a smart partner? He won two rounds. No, he didn't. He won more than two rounds. I'm sorry, Brandon. Anyways, no, Brandon, he 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 exposed. Uh, uh, okay, we can't. I, I'm I, he won the fight, but they deducted two points off of this guy, they didn't like the referee, and he was pushing uh, what's the name wrong? Like he was nothing. But Sonny Edwards was not making it any better, getting pushed around he, around the ring like that. I'm sorry. He didn't get pushed around. He went to the ropes on purpose. I don't know. All right. Now I'm on this link. Now I just click on it. Click on the arrow or hit the boxing swing. Yeah, just click the play button. It should work. Okay, it's loading now. Hold on. Oh, my God. 
this computer takes forever. Yeah, so um, let me go get this. Uh, it's loading, Brendan. Nope, it's telling me, took me to the bet, the same thing, the commercial stuff. Okay, hold on. Brendan, just be patient, man. I, I, have things to do. I understand that. It's not, it is hard if you can't get in there, Brendan. I'm right here doing it. I did that, Brendan. You're not listening. I'm on it and it's not working. It's the commercials. Will you listen, please? What commercial? The fight is on. There is no commercial. Maybe on your side, over here is giving me the betting thing. Let me go back again. We do oh, it. It's the ad. It's the ad. It's the ad. Just click out of it. I did. I did the same thing you showed me earlier. Okay, hold on. Let me try, Brendan. Hold on. No. Hold on. Just be patient, Brendan. Hold on. Be patient. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. <laughs> this keeps getting me to the ad. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm in there right now. Guys, take care. I'll be back. I, uh, if I can get this live going, I'll be back on as soon as possible. Right now, I got to get this done. Thank you guys for supporting me.